Well, staying on this issue, another political party has been launched, this time in the Northwest. The African Independent National Congress was launched in Mahikeng ahead of next year's general elections. Now, the party says its mandate is to improve the living conditions of citizens with a focus on service delivery. The party says it wants to attract prominent people from various political parties that include African National Congress, the Economic Freedom Fighters and Forum for Service Delivery. Now, this week, President Sir Ramaphosa also signed into law the Electoral Amendment Bill. Now, let's discuss these and other political stories. We're now joined in studio by political analyst Tami Malinga. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon, Tami. Pleasure. Now, let's just talk about these political parties that we have seen. Um, I, I, I want to use the word mushrooming, particularly in the past few mm. weeks. I mean, what does it say about our political landscape in this country? Is it as fragmented as some suggested, particularly in that past um, clip that we just saw? Well, the one thing that it says, it says that there is a huge distrust in the ANC. Mm -hmm. and, um, and again, it also tells us that there is quite a lack of leadership um, within the country. You know, people are looking for that leader. People are looking for that Nelson Mandela who's going to you know, unite the country and take the country forward. Currently, we do not have that specific leader. As, as, as it said in, in the previous clip, you know, there is just individuals, there's egos. Yeah, most of these parties that we are seeing, it's just ego-based. You get, uh, you know, chucked out of this party and then the next thing is that, oh, um, I can easily start my own party. So this is what it tells us. There is a lack of leadership within uh, uh, the country itself. And again, it becomes now an issue of uh, I'm, I'm out of a job within this party and then let me start a party and then this is now a, a, a way of me, you know, creating an employment for myself. So this is what it, 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 it has boiled down to. Mm. Uh, and now, the IEC recently announced that um, close to 8 million young people between the ages of 16 to 29 have actually registered for next year's election. I mean, this is good news, but the yeah. question then becomes, What's going to draw them to the polls to actually vote? Because when you look at some of the narrative that we're currently seeing from these political parties, including the ones that have been around uh, for decades, is that the narrative is there's no concerted effort in terms of being very specific and very clear in terms of what you will do for the people. So in terms of that, you know, what do you think um, parties need to do to sound meaningful. I mean, this new political party now coming out in the Northwest saying that it will address service delivery issues, uh, but not really going into specifics. What, what's, going, what's going to happen, we, we're going to see the same rhetoric that's, that's been there. Um, you're asking what's going to draw young people other than free t-shirts, other than the, 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 the rhetoric that we've been seeing, um, I don't see anything new that all of these parties are going to be saying. Because we've got, how, in 2019, how many parties were in the ballot paper? About 49. Um, and they are all not saying anything different. There is nothing new that they're going to be saying other than throwing rhetoric, other than promising this and that and, and throwing free t-shirts. There is no party that's got a concrete message of how are we going to solve South Africa's issues. There is no party that has been going around and actually engaging these young people to say what are the real issues that concerns you and how are we planning to solve those? There, there, there has been no dialogue with young people other than what we're seeing in terms of these numbers that we, we are, are, are just escalating, uh, that we're seeing this 8 million young people. It's just been voter registration drives. Mm. It's not bread and butters that concern young people. I haven't seen those discussions taking place. So it's going to be the same rhetoric that we're seeing in, on all these uh, with all these parties. It's mm. going to be just rhetoric and free t-shirts. Mm, which makes it very difficult for young people. I want us to delve into a couple of things that happened in the political space, you know, in, during the course of this week. Yes. The Electoral Amendment Bill finally signed into law by President Cyril Ramaphosa. But again, this is being very, very heavily criticized, mm. particularly saying that it skews heavily 
and favorably towards uh, you know, political parties as opposed to independents. You know, what's your take on that? Um, it reminded me of, you know, remember when the public protector said to Jacob Zuma, he had to reprimand one of his ministers and Jacob Zuma said, I hereby deliver such a reprimand. Mm. So this reminded me of that. That's what parliament did. Parliament took a, a, a short stance in terms of, oh, uh, the constitutional court said we should allow independence. We are hereby allowing independence without actually delving down to say we need to really look at our electoral act and making sure how do we make sure that independence really get into the electoral system by making sure that their votes, all their votes count. Mm. Not the fact that you've got to have 12,000 uh, signatories for you to be able to get onto the ballot. And once you've reached a certain threshold, all your, all your other votes, they fall away. So they did not take all of that into consideration. They just said, constitutional court says we must allow them. We are hereby allowing them. So we can only take comfort in the fact that the current bill says has got a, a component that says it needs to be reviewed. So in 2029, we're hoping that this will then be a better ele uh, electoral bill mm -hmm. in terms of the independence. All right, Tammy, thank you so much uh, for your time this afternoon. One then would imagine what the ANC NEC is going to touch on as wow. it speaks to <laughs> the 2024 elections. But let's yeah. leave it there for now. Thank you so much, Tammy Malinga, Pleasure. of course, is a political analyst.